So my topic's on the death penalty. I'm against it. It's by me. <clears throat> so what is the death penalty and when did it start? The death penalty is a punishment of execution that someone is given when legally convicted for a capital crime. And it started back in the 18th century BC at Egypt. When did the death penalty start to be a problem? It began in 1988 during a presidential election because the percentage of those who were in favor for using the death penalty was really high. And then those that were against it wanted to change that. And up until this day, it's still a problem because according to the FBI, states with the death penalty had the highest murder rates. And then those states that had the death penalty and had the high murder rates are Louisiana, Missouri, Texas, Alabama, South Carolina, and North Carolina. <clears throat> so what makes a death penalty case different from other criminal cases? The first thing is that in a death penalty case, there's two trial cases involved instead of one, and then the two types are one for guilt and then one for punishment. The second thing is that the death penalty trial is three to five times longer than a typical murder trial. And then the death penalty cases cost more than other criminal cases, which means that they're more expensive. States where the death penalty is legal, um, these states are Alabama, Arizona, Florida, Virginia, Texas, Kansas, Georgia, Utah, and South Carolina. Then states where the death penalty is illegal, such as New York, Maine, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, West Virginia, Washington, and New Mexico. Who is most affected inappropriately by the death penalty? Those people that are affected the most are the mentally ill, black or brown, the victim's family or friends, and then those that are unable to afford expensive legal representation. Um, people who are, who are also affected are the attorney and the attorney's skill, and then the family's victim again. And then the percentage total together of the black and Latinos that are on death row right now is 55%, which shows that they're affected the most by the death penalty. Uh, is the death penalty the best punishment? No, it's not. According to the editor-in-chief of Connect Us, statistics show that crimes are fewer committed when the death penalty is abolished and replaced with life in prison. And then those that say that life in prison is better say that because it gives a prisoner more time for remorse and reflection on his or her crime. And then life in prison is better because life sentences are five times higher today than they were in the 1980s. And a lot of people can't handle that. So is the death penalty benefiting our society? No, it's not. According to Procon.org, it isn't making our community safer and is failing to deliver the justice it promised. It also is ineffective because states that have the death penalty have a higher crime rate and murder rate than states without the death penalty. Does the death penalty go against the Constitution? Yes, it does. According to American Civil Liberties Union, they believe that the death penalty violates the Constitution because it violates against crime and unusual punishment. The amendment that the death penalty goes up against is the Eighth Amendment. Not only does it go against the Constitution, but it also goes against human rights because humans shouldn't be mistreated and be put um, to death. <clears throat> Do the victim's family get justice? No, not 
many families get justice because they usually feel like the only way they could get justice is by the person receiving a capital punishment like death penalty. But research in 2012 found that a family of the victim experienced higher levels of physical and behavioral health afterwards. And it also creates a revenge factor. The death penalty is a raw the death penalty is being used wrongly. In some countries it is used as a political tool tool. For example, in Iran it is used to punish political opponents. And then a lot of people use the death penalty just to use it, but it doesn't deter criminals from doing more bad crimes. The total amount of, of violent crimes in the US society is one point twenty one million and it's also a waste of limited resources and it's a waste because those funds that can be used to prevent and solve crime and provide education and jobs are spent on the capital punishment instead of our society. The defects towards the death penalty are delays could last for 20 years or more. The second one is the system is untrustworthy. And the third is that the application of capital crime, the capital punishment is unpredictable. Other execution methods that people are against, one is beheading and it is not used in the US right now. Execution, it's on the books, but it's not currently used in the US. The third option that people are against is hanging. It's on the books as well, but is not currently used in the US. And then the fourth is lethal injection, which is still used in the US. And then the last one is the firing squad. It's on the books as well, but is not used in the US. <clears throat> Ways people are trying to abolish the death penalty. So one way is that um, the Astron Astronomy International and many other that are against the death penalty are campaigning to abolish it. They are trying. They are also trying to expose and hold accountable people, such as the government, that continue using this method. Ways death penalty can be reduced. So there's four different ways that it can be reduced. The first way is by increasing the number of police officers. The second way is reducing drug abuse. The third is creating a better economy with more jobs. And then the fourth way is by creating more jobs, there can be lower unemployment rates, which correlates with lower crime rates. The cost for the death penalty, man maintaining a prisoner on death row costs about $90,000 per year. Uh, considering to keep that person on death row for 20 years or more, uh, the jail price is cheaper, so it won't be $90,000 a year. Uh, cases not taken to the jury, which doesn't involve capital punishment, cost about seven hundred and forty thousand dollars and then cases that are taken to the jury which involve the capital punishment creates taxpayer cost of 1.26 million dollars uh, with the death penalty there are mistakes by using it so uh, a few things is that like innocent people are often sentenced to death without them realizing if they're innocent or not for an example, in 1989, Carlos de la Luna from Texas was an innocent and yet was an innocent man, and yet he was still put into death because they didn't find the real evidence until the rear, the real murder confessed. 
once Carlos was put to death. And then the death penalty is irreversible, meaning that if you use it on the person who was innocent all along, then it was a waste and it can't be fixed. So, like, you can't bring that person back to life, sadly. <clears throat> Some fun facts about the death penalty is that there are 2,656 people on death row in the United States right now. According to CNN, as of December 12, 2019, capital punishment is legal in 29 states in the U.S. Uh, capital punishment support has dropped from a high of 80% in the 1994s to 60% today. And as of, as of August 2012, over... 3,200 3, men and women were under a death sentence and then more than 1,300 men and women and children at the time of crime have been executed since 1976. And then in conclusion, I decided that the death penalty should be abolished and I think that it should be abolished because it's affecting a lot of people in the world. It's not benefiting our society. And it's also going against human rights and the Constitution rights and the Eighth Amendment, which is you can't do cruel and unusual punishment. So, yeah. So, that's my presentation.